To this day, NASA has neither confirmed nor denied the validity of this transmission. The space shuttle has two radio channels. One is a public channel that we all hear when NASA is broadcasting. We can hear what the astronauts are saying. The other channel is a Department of Defense encrypted channel. And that's where I believe the real conversations are going on. The new millennium ushered in more UFO sightings by NASA shuttle crews. One extraordinary recording occurred aboard space shuttle flight STS-73. Mission specialist Catherine Coleman sees something curious on day three of the routine 15-day mission. This is October 21st, 1995. We have an unidentified flying object. And nothing after. I mean, there she is. Catherine's just floating around in there. And that's where I believe they went on to the Department of Defense encrypted channel on the space shuttle and they continued the conversation. Researcher David Sereda has been studying unusual phenomena in outer space for over a decade. It is his theory that NASA continued recording, but on a secret frequency, leaving us with more questions than answers. We have an unidentified flying object. Even recent shuttle missions have had eerie reports and sightings of strange objects. According to Sereda, some of the most shocking evidence of UFOs in outer space comes as recently as August 6, 2005, from space shuttle flight STS-114. Well, the space shuttle is doing 18,000 miles an hour around the Earth. So the object is traveling, obviously, much faster than 18,000 miles an hour to catch up to the shuttle to fly in tandem speed with it, and then it takes off and goes back out the other way. And this is real footage from the space shuttle. Even considering that it may be just a few miles away from the space shuttle, is obviously a, a very large UFO. The object enters quickly, dramatically changes speed and direction, then flies back out of frame. The trajectory and speed of the object defy all laws of physics, leaving researchers like Sereda to draw their own conclusions. When you zoom in on video frames or any digital media, you get pixelation. So some of the rectangular shapes you see are pixels, but notice also you can see the round aura of light around it. So you can still differentiate shapes within the pixels. There's no way that's dust and debris. There's no way it's another satellite. When you go through process of elimination, you know that what we're seeing in STS-114 is truly a UFO. There's really nothing else out there like that. Since NASA does not comment on the topic of UFOs, the authenticity of space recordings and sightings cannot be officially confirmed, which leaves many questions unanswered. UFOs constantly trailed our spaceships around planet Earth the space shuttle, but more importantly, all the Apollo, the Project Apollo spacecraft on the way to the moon. I think a lot of astronauts are gonna start coming forward and testifying to what they have seen. My impression is that the guys who go running around saying the NASA stuff proves something are hyping it. As Earth's airspace grows more and more crowded each day and more people than ever take to the skies, is it possible that reports like the ones you've just seen will continue? There are reams and reams of official reports by commercial aircraft, by private aircraft, and military aircraft about pilot encounters. Even if, while we're sitting right here in California, a UFO turned up over Santa Monica Bay, you probably hear a great explanation of how it was a reflection of the sun behind the cloud. So many reports from so many experienced pilots of strange phenomenon and frightening encounters with UFOs since the beginning of man flight. As our pilots fly through Earth's atmosphere and further into space, many continue to wonder, do the skies truly belong to us or to them? 3179, we got a passenger taking a picture of it right now. Looks like a UFO. They can create life. The shock waves trigger new stars, planets, and ultimately life. And take it away. It disrupts the DNA inside cells. They're like ghosts. They can go right through the Earth. Our planet is going to get pummeled. Supernovas on the universe. All new episodes Tuesdays at 9 on the History Channel.